The pigeon camera is one of our older artifacts where parts of the mission are actually still classified. But what I can tell you a little about is why we chose this animal and how it was deployed. The CIA can learn a lot from reconnaissance photography. And with planes like the U-2 and the A-12 and satellites like Corona in the sky, the CIA had a window into a whole new world of intelligence. But unfortunately, those planes are taking photographs from incredible heights. So if we wanted to get into a target area with more detail, the CIA was gonna to have to get creative and return to the animal kingdom again. CIA's Office of Research and Development created a camera small and light enough to be carried by a pigeon. With the camera attached to its breast, the pigeon would fly over a target area on its return home. With the pigeon being a common species, it was able to conceal itself as an intelligence collection platform among thousands of other birds. Pigeon imagery is taken from hundreds of feet above the target, whereas planes like the A-12 and the U-2 were taking photographs from tens of thousands of feet, and satellites like Corona were miles above the target. The pigeon camera allowed the CIA to have a much more detailed view of what was going on in an area. The camera could begin taking pictures immediately upon release, or it could have a preset delay. The camera took a series of images at a set interval, and there was actually a small battery-operated motor that advanced the film and cocked the shutter. 